Hey everyone, this is Justin with My Man Justin's Collectible Emporium, and I am your man for Pokemon cards, consulting, and analysis. Today we're going to get into the fifth binder on my channel. This binder was a little bigger than my past binder, so I'm actually going to split it up into two different videos uh, in correlation with two different eras of sets in the binder. This video today, we're going to get into EX sets. Uh, specifically the Delta Species set, although there's also Whole on Phantoms, Unseen Forces, Legend Maker, a lot of great cards. The next video will go, we'll go over the Wizards of Coast era cards, which include Neo Destiny, um, Aquapolis, and Expedition base set. So today we will get right into that. We'll talk about the cards, talk about some of the unique cards that are in this set. Specifically, first we'll go into the Delta Species set, and there's some great cards, some great artwork and we'll talk about some of the cards that you should be looking out for. All right, so here it is, the EX Delta Species set, and I was able to put together almost a complete set of it in reverse hollow. There are a few non-hollows in it, and there's just a very few cards that are just missing completely, but it's almost complete in the reverse hollow variation. And just going through it on this first page, you'll notice a few nice cards. You'll notice the evolutions, which are always going to be sought after. Uh, this card, actually, in the Japanese version, it was released in different sets. It wasn't all just released in the X Delta Species. This art was in a set called uh, Holon Research Tower. And it's very cool card. Espeon's looking very sleek and sneaky. And this set, this set has quite a few of the evolutions. I actually it has all of the evolutions up until the point that this set was released. There wasn't any Sylveon or Leafeon or Glaceon at this time. But so here as you can see the reverse hollows in the EX series have the logo of the set printed on the art box. Here is just the the rare hollow. the the rare car The rare cards came hollow, but they don't have the stamp in the lower right corner. And just to note, there is a Dragonite in this set. And these cards, these EX series cards, from an investment standpoint, I think they're, they're a good investment. They are becoming more and more popular. People are getting more and more aware of them as they venture out of the, you know, the Wizards of the Coast kind of era stuff. And they go to the newer stuff. And this is just kind of in the middle. And people are really getting to notice these. And the prices are increasing on these. Cards like this can be maybe anywhere from 15 to $20. And some people are even deciding to getting them PSA graded. There are other cards in this set, like for example, this Beedrill, that are still probably only gonna be $5, maybe more, maybe eight, but time will tell how much that increases over time. There is also a nice Mewtwo in this set. And again, this is a set that includes the Delta species, and a Delta being the symbol for change, especially if you're familiar with math and calculus. Delta refers to the change over time. There's a nice Delta species Rayquaza, and there's actually a pretty cool subset of reverse hollow stamped Rayquaza cards. There's one in the Dragon Vault, there's one in EX Delta Species, there's one in um, Hole on Phantoms, um, and a few more. I actually at one time was trying to collect the full PSA 10 of all of the reverse hollow stamped Rayquazas, which I'll talk about in another video about PSA grading and different ways to invest and more creative ways to to invest in PSA graded cards that are not just the standard, you know, 
base set first editions or something, but cards that can actually uh, be a good investment on for grading, uh, depending on condition. That's another thing I'll talk about in another video. Because, you know, even a, a PSA 1 first edition base set Charizard is getting is worth getting graded, whereas that Rayquaza would not be worth getting graded if it wasn't at least an 8 or 9. So here's some more evolutions. This one is a reverse hollow. This one's just a rare hollow. But it, it, it's a nice set. This The EX Delta Species set, just for the fact that it has all of the evolutions, you can get them with a nice Delta Species stamp on them. They look great. Just another rare card in here. Metagross, another popular Pokemon for collectors with a nice stamp. Looks great. And here, as you can see, I'm starting to fill in. I had to fill in a few non hollow cards just because I wanted you to be able to see all the artwork. This set also showcased the Holons Pokemon, the trainer Holon, and uh, there's a Magneton, there's also a regular Magneton, so that's one of the uh, peculiarities of this set that's not seen in many others, beside Holon Phantoms, it's going to have the Holon's Pokemon, which is cool, there's a Holon's Electro, this is what a non hollow is going to look like, it's kind of interesting. Uh, it looks like a rainbow energy on the card. I don't know if that's supposed to be there or not. I'm going to have to check that out, see if it's some kind of print error. And just like with uh, when I showed the geez, the EX Dragon Frontiers complete set that I have, it's nice to see how with these reverse hollows, sometimes the Pokemon itself is holographic, but then they also switch it up with the background of the art box being holographic as well. That's the rain cast form. So we got some more, these are still rares. So qu quite a few rares in this set, at least 31. Um, different, there's a different variation of cast of form. We got the the snow cloud, the sunny, and the rain. Uh, I believe there's one more as well. Oh, the normal cast form right there. There's a nice slow king in this set. And as far as price, you can still get these fairly inexpensive. So it's something worth investing in for when, as I said, more and more these these are going upward in price because they're getting more more just realized and and noticed by collectors because most collectors are going to start out especially ones that are uh, starting up collecting again after collecting from their childhood they usually go back to the base set uh, wizard of the coast jungle fossil rocket gym and then if they continue on the path then they'll kind of get around to these cards and i wanted to show you this set because as far as I know, it's the only set that shows the Ditto uh, transformed into different Pokemon. In this case, they use the Claymation artwork. But here's a Reverse Hollow. This card can be worth uh, above $10, but I also prepared this cool little subset. And this is another example, I would say, of cards that would be an interesting and somewhat aggressive investment to get PSA graded. Um, I, I wouldn't do it with these non hollows, but I think that a full set of these in reverse hollow would be a pretty cool set. So here we have all of the ditto transformations in the set. Charmander, Geodude, Squirtle, Mr. Mime, two different Pikachus. They look very similar, but they are different artworks. Uh, Bulbasaur, and then just 
regular old, regular old ditto. So I think so. This is this is an example I'll talk about in the in the episode I do about different ways that you can get creative about PSA grading and making subsets of cards that would be of interest to collectors uh, if you're trying to make an investment, for example. Um, also, so this is another, just real quick, um, just like with EX Dragon Frontiers, we see multiple artworks in the set next to each other of the same Pokemon, also in Delta Species. And remember, EX Dragon Frontiers, every single Pokemon in the set is, is Delta Species. Whereas in this one, that's not the case. There are normal, non-chain species with, with their normal t um, energy type. So these are electric type Dragonairs. And the artwork is great. So yeah, very cool little subset of Dittos. And as far as I know, it's the only set that has that artwork of Transform ditto transformations. Here's a cool card. There's also a Meowth in this set later in later on in the set. Again, a lot of Persian collectors. It's got a, a lot of fans of this Pokemon. It's a cool artwork. The background is hollow, and I think it looks good like that rather than the Pokemon. It's a nice Rapidash artwork here too. Two Shellgons. There's a, so here's just a regular Magneton, not Holons. The Holons is a metal type, so. And just like in Dragon Frontiers, there is a Delta Species Bagon, which I like the artwork, especially with the Reverse Hollow. The Bagon in Dragon Frontiers is a water type, here is a fire type. And this would be another example, because there's a lot of Salamence fans out there and this would be another example of maybe it would be cool to have a set of all of the reverse hollow bagons and salamences psa graded nice little set for that special someone that really likes salamence and of course the whole evolution chain leading up to them so there's another delta species fire type bagon and there, here is a, uh, I managed to get two of the reverse hollow ditto transformation arts. There's the Geodude. Here is that Meowth. It's another cool little set. I think they're particularly nice artworks. The reverse hollow looks especially nice. And that, that was a cool thing they started doing with these EX sets, is making even the common cards reverse haul like that. It just makes the whole set shine more, literally and figuratively, and makes it more appealing for the collector, because when, when you have a binder, every card is just shining nicely. It just adds a little more depth and sparkle to the whole collection. Here's an, of course, Eevee. Is going to be a popular card. Although this this Eevee looks a little, uh, I don't really want to say, but she just so she she doesn't look as sharp as usual, is what I'll say. Whereas the other one does, the Delta Species, or no, it's not Delta Species. The other one, this one's Delta Species, Metal type, Steel type. So there's also two Dragonairs in the set as well as uh, Dratini. Here's that Holon's Magnemite to match up with the Reverse Hollow Holon's uh, Magneton. I think there's an especially nice Poochiana artwork. I like the background. It's, kind of, it's, it, it, it's really colorful, which contrasts the very gray Poochiana.
we're getting toward the end to the trainer cards which are nice and vibrant with the reverse hollow Farmer, hold on last, hold on mentor, hold on research tower, ruins, all hold on themed, and then with these sets, the rare cards actually came last. Nice shiny hole on energy FF, which is a rare. Just like the darkness energy. And then the EX cards would go in the back. But there it is, the EX Delta Species set. And we will continue on this in the next episode. I'll bring out some more EX series cards from Unseen Forces um, and some other sets as well. Hold on, Phantoms. And I will see you there. Thanks.